please read through the instructions in the manual or watch this video in its entirety before attempting installation and be sure to pause the video when necessary. Make sure you have the following tools required. Make sure to turn off the sink's water valve where the dishwasher is to be connected and be sure to turn off the circuit breaker that connects with the dishwasher. Use the template included located on top of the unit and the manual to determine the clearance on the side of the cabinet where the cabinet meets the back wall to feed your water drain and supply line and power cord if needed in case there are no openings on the sides of the cabinet cavity. Use a 2.5 inch diameter hole saw to drill a hole in the target areas shown on the template. Extend the water supply line and power supply outward and loosely tape both to the floor relatively close together as shown. To ensure proper drainage, install the dishwasher no farther than 12 feet from the sink and drain lines and do not kink or bend the water supply line or drain hoses. Unbox and remove any packaging material from the unit. Remove the rear plastic shipping brace. Toward the bottom of the dishwasher, remove the two screws attaching the lower cover and set the cover aside. Position the unit closely in front of the water supply line and power supply. Remove the tape from both the water supply line and power supply and pull both through the dishwasher's bottom openings. Slide the unit further back to reveal the water supply line and power supply. Here we have the inlet valve to the left and the electrical junction box to the right. Connect the water supply line to the inlet valve and use a wrench to tighten firmly. The dishwasher should have a dedicated, properly grounded branch circuit to connect the three-wire setup, which includes the ground wire. If a three-pronged power supply is used, it should be in an accessible location adjacent to the dishwasher within four feet of the dishwasher's side and not behind the unit. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screw from the junction box. Slide and secure a strain relief onto the power supply. Insert the power supply with the strain relief into the junction box as shown and secure it with a ring nut. Then pair the wires to their corresponding color, neutral, power, and the green ground wires using the wire caps attached to the power supply. Use electrical tape to wrap around each wire cap to create a tight seal and reinsert them back into the junction box and screw the junction box cover back into place. Secure the dishwasher by using the screws and metal installation brackets provided if attaching the appliance to the underside of a wood countertop. Using a pair of needle nose pliers, bend the tabs on the brackets to tighten firmly. Now take the water drain hose and feed it into the cavity's left side hole where the water supply line is located. Carefully pull on the drain hose while sliding the dishwasher into place to avoid a kinked or pinched hose. Do not allow any slack behind the dishwasher. If connecting the dishwasher's drain hose to the garbage disposal, be sure to follow your garbage disposal's manual for proper installation instruction when necessary. Remove the knockout plug on the garbage disposal with a hammer and wooden dowel before connecting the dishwasher's drain hose or the dishwasher will not be able to drain properly. Attach the drain hose to the garbage disposal with the hose clamp provided and tighten firmly with a flat blade screwdriver. For proper leveling, lift or lower the rear of the dishwasher first using a Phillips head screwdriver by turning the single screw located at the bottom center of the unit clockwise or counterclockwise. To lift the front of the unit up or down, use a flat blade screwdriver to turn the front legs as shown. Make sure the gap between the door and the tub is equal on both the left and right sides. With the dishwasher in place, set your leveling tool on top front center of the unit and then level it from the inside wall of the tub interior. Adjust as needed until the unit is completely leveled. Now use the bracket screws provided to drill into the underside of a wood countertop. Be sure to cover the filter with towels to prevent screws from falling down into the pump. For countertops made of granite, marble, or other materials that could be damaged by drilling. Use the wood screws to attach the dishwasher to the side of the cabinet by removing the plastic caps from the mounting bracket and into the cabinet frame. Once leveled and securely in place, remove any remaining package materials. Turn on the circuit breaker that connects to the dishwasher along with the water valve. Power on the dishwasher and run a cycle. Check for leaks at the drain hose and water supply connection. If a water leak is detected, press and hold the start button for three seconds to cancel the cycle, which will automatically drain the water from the unit. Adjust and refit the connections to form a tight and better seal, and run another cycle. Repeat this process if necessary. Remount the lower cover, and you are now ready to use your new LG dishwasher.